latest on Tropical Storm Wu Tip, which is slowly intensifying now, 60 miles an hour according to Force 13's latest estimates and a pressure of 987 millibars, a little bit lower than what the uh, JTWC and the JMA have been saying in recent hours uh, because the storm's been looking just a little bit uh, off, its, uh, off the boil in the last few frames. On the CDPS though, it still has the potential to reach stage 6 when it reaches Guam if it was to make a direct hit on that particular island or on any of the Mariana Islands by extension really. Here's where the storm is right now though, traversing over some of the Micronesian Islands, particularly in Chuck State. It's at 6.1 north, 150.1 degrees east at 11am Shimoro time this February 21st. Uh, 152 miles from Wino, it has passed its closest point of approach to uh, the largest area of, uh, of Chuck State. And then 617 miles further will take it to Guam and a little bit more for some of those other islands. As you can see, the map is lit up in all kinds of different colors with typhoon warnings in effect for Satawal and Pulawat. A typhoon watch for Farolep coupled with a tropical storm warning and the same too for many other areas. Crucially, Tropical Storm Watch is now in effect for all of the Mariana Islands, the populated ones at least, as far north as Saipan. Here's the latest GFS model run showing what we're expecting over the next few days. By the weekend, the storm is going to be making its closest approach to the islands of Guam uh, and Rota, and then it will continue, according to the GFS model, off towards the north, recurving to the northeast. There's still that long range split between some of the models there, um, with the ECMWF and the CMC being notable exceptions over the past few days, taking a little bit further west. Not sure if that's still the case, but that's what they were saying some time ago. Sea surface temperatures ahead of the storm are favorable up until it reaches just after the uh, Mariana Islands before they go off uh, a little bit below what we'd expect, around, uh, down to about 25, but at the minute 27, and this is the forecast over the next few days. The green areas, again, tropical storm force winds. You can see them moving quite clearly over the Mariana Islands by the weekend. The hurricane typhoon conditions staying just off the coast, according to this GFS model run. But don't forget, every track forecast has a cone, and it could deviate to the east or west um, of what we're expecting. And those hurricane force winds could be brought further ashore um, if it goes towards the east. Here are the chances of tropical storm force winds right now in the next five days. 46% chance now in Guam, that's nearly a half chance. Everyone there should be preparing for potential uh, typhoon conditions. 24% in Rota, 17% in Tinian and 7 in Yap. You can see here the uh, GFS and HWRF in good agreement on intensity taking it to category 3 status eventually. JTWC also siding with that. Wind shear is going to be fairly low in the next few days, but it will be slowly on the rise, although uh, it does appear as though wind shear might be affecting some of its convection right now. Sea surface temperatures will be taking a gradual decline, and so will the relative humidity. You can see the track forecast there, JTWC still leaning to the west of the GFS and the HWRF. Latest frames here, showing the storm passing the main islands of Chuck there, just to the south. Some smaller islands that are not depicted on this map lie ahead of the storm and there could be some significant passes there uh, with those tropical storm force winds, possibly typhoon gusts, not at the moment, but if you're near the centre of that convection there, which it did have a big blow up earlier, it has simmered off a little bit in latest frames that aren't visible on this imagery, but could still be a big rainmaker for the area as well. Quite uh, a potent storm at this time. Stay tuned. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest. You can also find our YouTube page, you're probably there already, but if not, subscribe if you haven't so far. You can also find our Facebook page, Force 13 All in Text, and it's at Force 13 on Twitter if you'd like to get in touch with us on there. You can also help the project reach the next level by becoming a patron. It makes us even better and you can reap your own benefits from becoming a patron at patreon.com forward slash force 13. With a special thanks to these patrons, too many to read out individually, but we thank them very much for their support through the project over several months now. 
You can also find Force 13 on Skype and Fool 13 on Discord at extension 9094 for Tropical Weather Chat.